like no doesn't matter if spurs turn up if spurs have the motivation champions league spot whatever but guardiola being the classic overthinker that he is he will prepare for all possible <laughs> contingencies and make sure that his team gets over the line so i feel sorry for you aj but i think that will is again going nothing to feel sorry about bro we are happy <laughs> <laughs> just i mean just, i really just, don't but <laughs> bro he got his trophy bro he beat everyone on the screen he won community yeah. shield like he wow <laughs> betting won bet everyone on the screen <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna forget that, right, Snehal? Never, never, be. <laughs> never forget that. <laughs> there's this like blue juggernaut that's continuing to run, and there's look, looks like there's no stopping it. And these Arsenal fans are like joyous. Look at the smile on AJ's face. Come on, man! Like, do you really think City are gonna lose points against Tottenham after seeing how they beat Fulham like two days yesterday? And like, yeah, bro. Realistically I, speaking, I, I like, do see what? it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in your, your dreams or in reality, like how? I mean, statistically, they haven't <laughs> scored a single goal at Tottenham Stadium in the Premier League. So, I mean, it is what it is. We'll, I mean, statistically, records are meant to be broken, bro. And the city will bottle for the first time. That record will be broken on Tuesday. <laughs> no, I think I think I agree with you, Ajay, on that because because I think we've we've talked about this, right? Like uh, the the biggest drawback for teams like Liverpool and Arsenal, while in in the title race, is that they have a lot of historically historic rivals. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like you know, if Liverpool has. had no business losing to united four points to united but they did lose that that's what happens and with 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 arsenal i think even the in the the context and the, and, and the narrative of uh, you know punai emery kind of that that kind of acted against you right so in that context if you think about it city are the closest any city have in terms of rivalry is probably with spurs right now because they have been very poor at 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 spurs stadium or playing spurs be the champions league exits being everything so th- that's that's the only way they can something which is again on paper city is going to beat spurs but something which you cannot describe it can happen it can happen only against spurs and i think that's basically the only hope i'm counting on again at this point i'm all all in for arsenal i want arsenal to win uh, there is no hiding it i'm just kind of hoping that city will drop points lose or even draw at least and then it goes to the final day also i think a lot depends on you bro like you need yeah. to beat villa tomorrow <laughs> exactly exactly yeah we will i think i think see liverpool without pressure are a different beast at this point so we saw how we played against spurs right is and i think that's that's a similar uh, thing and i think we, villa right now they've kind of given up after exiting from the conference league so Yeah, I mean, Villa do have a lot to play for in terms of Champions League, but given their mentality and given the state they are in right now, I think it should be, and given the quality of the squad and all that, should be a easy or gettable win for Liverpool. So yes, we will do you that favor, which will give that glimmer of hope for Spurs, and if they have it, at least they can draw. I think so. You know what? I think uh, you are absolutely right in terms of Villa. I don't see them winning again mm-hmm. this season. I just don't because I remember us having you know when we finished fifth and it was everything was in our hands and we went and lost to uh, we, went, we, we went and lost Newcastle first and then we went and lost to uh, Spurs. It's just mm-hmm. very difficult to come out of a slump at this point of time, especially when you're beaten in the semi final in a you know or in a, in a European competition, both legs. Uh, so yeah, it's, I, I I don't see them. So Spurs do have a golden chance, but then again, it's uh, we'll see, we'll see. You think Spurs are not motivated already to like beat City and end their season on a high, or do you think that Villa game will actually make a difference in their thinking and mentality? Like, I think like any football team will want to play their best football. Bro, I think game, no I'm I'm, I'm sorry to cut cut you out, but if Villa win tomorrow, I don't think Spurs will turn up. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like they're locked in for fifth, they would not want mm. to do any favors to anyone. Yeah. Like, yeah. The only thing that is motivating players, management, team, like forget fans, is probably fourth and fifth is a huge difference. Like Champions right. League wages, bro, you you're potentially losing out thirty percent of your salary. That is any motivation mm-hmm. for like any human being, right, to go in and do it. So. Um, <laughs> That that's fucked up. Like if, if also, Villa no, wins tomorrow, it's curtains, bro. I'm so it's, sorry. It's done. It's done. Yeah. If Villa if, if Villa wins tomorrow, it's done. <laughs> exactly. If 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 Villa gets even one point, I think. Wait. Right now, 
Yeah, all so Villa needs from the last one point is fine. So Villa yeah, is on sixty-seven, and then if they yeah. get sixty-eight, they need so, a win. Oh, they need Just a win. Lose. Okay. Just don't okay, lose. So, <laughs> don't lose. Right. Okay, got it. I think I think that should be doable. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should be able to at least get to that point. But yeah, I totally understand. I think if I think the only motivation for for Spurs is the Champions League, and, and especially given the new format of the Champions League next season, I think uh, there is a huge. It, it's much more money than usual, yeah. and I think it's every yeah. club is going to get like one thirty million or something just for participating, or you know something of yeah. that, because the number of games are more. So yeah. yeah. I think Spurs and, would want to finish finish on sixty nine points. Yeah, and I think a lot of Spurs players are also playing for their Spurs career, right? Like at this point of time, uh, uh, clearly see they're not good enough in terms of <laughs> like sustaining their uh, you know whatever good form that they had in the first half of the season. A lot of players will go out, and if let's say if Liverpool do end up you know not losing to Aston Villa and they have something to play for in the game against City, and they still don't turn up. I think that shows a lot about the players that they have, and then there'll be a basically it'll be like their career-defining moment at that point of time. So it it really Arsenal and what we do or what we achieve because of them taking points of City shouldn't matter <laughs> uh, if they have like a Champions League spot. If they don't, I would throw the game away. I mean, yeah, I would do it. Like I would not play. <laughs> I would score own goals. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I think exactly ten years ago, uh, after the Gerard slip, and we were literally teetering and trying to kind of see what can happen with our season. The next game was Everton against City, uh, which Everton had to win. Everton that season were surprisingly performing well, and they were within the reach of top four, top five. If they had won against City, they would have at least finished in top four of some sorts. And they were leading one zero with a Ross Ross Barkley goal, and then and final result was three one City. So again, you don't know what ha- what what can happen. All I'm saying is, you know, sometimes you you would want things to happen just because okay, they are playing for Champions League, they want this to happen, they want to play for the careers and everything. But sometimes the quality just shows up, you know, the, and it just kind of can be curtains. But the the only concerning part for me, apart from the historical. Uh, you know the rivalry which Spurs has with City is is there so, they've been so bad the last four or five games. It it's been so bad. It, it, at least if they did one couple of games here and there, or at least played well, or at least even in those defeats, if they were better, I would have like been okay, fine. Yeah, there is a good chance that fifty percent chance that Spurs can get something out of City, but they've been very bad. I, I've seen that against Liverpool, so I'm like, I don't know, something magical has Personally, to happen. Yeah, personally, I feel Villa or no Villa, City are just not gonna lose that game. Like, no, it doesn't matter if Spurs turn up, if Spurs have the motivation, Champions League spot, whatever. But Guardiola, being the classic overthinker that he is, he will prepare for all possible <laughs> contingencies and make sure that his team gets over the line. So I feel sorry for you, AJ, but I think that is again going. To Nothing to feel sorry about, bro. We are happy. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I mean, just, I really just, don't. But <laughs> bro, he got his trophy, bro. He beat everyone on the screen. He won Community yeah. Shield. Like he, wow, <laughs> beat everyone on the screen. <laughs> You're not gonna forget that, right, Snehal? Never, never, be. <laughs> never forgetting that. <laughs> but and then he waved his flag, waving the flag high, right? Already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hide your face with that now. Next, season, next stream. We should just like take a screenshot look of at, it and say, "Look at, the, mm-hmm. look at Sorry, the pain. Look at the look at the pain in Sid's voice. <laughs> the annoyance in Sid's voice. I love it. I am done with the pain, bro. I have no no pain anymore. <laughs> Even you saying that is painful, bro. It hurts. It hurts me <laughs> hearing you speak. <laughs> but but I think uh, like in the grand scheme of things, if City draw points, if City draw, if big if, I don't think goal difference is going to matter. I think we're going to." Yeah, we're gonna win it. We are with one hundred percent winning if City is dropping points. This is where I say the special kind of pain is awaiting you, right? So just compare us with the last season, right? Twenty twenty one, twenty two season where we lost by one point. I was fine. I was I was accepting that defeat. I was like, okay, fine. We're not gonna win. There is no way City are gonna lose against I don't know Aston Villa on the final day or something. I was fine, and then they pulled me into it. It was Coutinho scoring, Gerard managing. It was written, written in the stars. Like it was like it had to happen, and then they pulled me in. I was, I had, I was in the same stage as you are right now. That we are going to finish second. That's fine. We have a Champions League final to look forward to. I kind of was in that acceptance phase. 
right yeah. and then something weird something very irrational is just happened that day like you know they were literally trailing 2-0 till like 70th seven, minute or something who the fuck scores three goals in 10 minutes why why did bernardo silva have to be subbed off why did coutinho have to be subbed off i i am i am like lost for it 20 22nd of may i still remember that date i'm it, it, i can never forget it so all i'm saying is as well, i mean if you're accepting of it fine awesome good but you know just hope that something like that won't happen like where you they score two goals in the final in the final 10 minutes or so and then you're tied on goal difference and it's not even like you're losing on goal difference you'll be losing on goals scored because they scored like 91 or something three two more goals more than you so just hope that doesn't happen aj aj you see abinav and like the frustration he still has right now i think if arsenal don't end up winning it's you you're looking at, at yourself in the mirror right now <laughs> aj i think you're muted you're on mute aj i will i will only be affected by this title race if we lose on goal difference mm-hmm. uh okay. otherwise that's that what's going to happen it's our chair trauma no i i don't th- i see i don't see it happening i don't see it happening so think of it this way right if city drop points if we were to have a chance city have a zero goal difference in one game right they have to score three in the next plus whatever we score at everton at home who are already at the beach and we generally end up our season with like four five bangers like goal bangers and dude i mean you're expecting city, you're expecting city to score as if like arsenal don't score like we scored 89 goals to the 91 so i mean we we can fucking score and smash the ball in the net like multiple times so i back my team to score more goals whatever number we need i back my team to do it it's only on uh points if we lose on points we lose on points man like we can't really do anything about it on goal difference we're not losing i think 100% yep. sure we'll, we'll score more 